now P.K. Mohammed sir, a veteran on the space, to kindly deliver your uh, presentation. Good morning to all. First of all, I wish to thank Policy Times for giving me an opportunity to talk to all of you. On the same subject, when few people are going to talk, there will be a lot of repetition. In my slide, also there is a lot of repetition, so that I pass those slides. The idea is, my talk is that, which is spelled here, Tyre is a rich source of raw material and energy. So that any process what you are adapting, you should adapt in such a way how much we can take out high value added products first, then followed by low value products. That's the way you have to approach the recycling. My presentation contains that is uh, sustainability and its importance. What is pneumatic tire? I'll spell a little bit. Then present development approach. Then ELT management and its importance. Merits and demerits of methods of recovery. And conclusion and way forward. See, any policy is deployed because of the problems what we are facing. The GOB is facing several problems today. I listed a few problems. One of the major problems is the growing population. That is, it is predicted by 2050, world will have 9.75 billion people from the present level of 7.75. India is predicted there will be approximately 1.65 billion from recently I found Indian population is 1.4. There is another measure when you look at the population density per square kilometers is going to increase from 60 to 70. And uh, Indian density will go from 400 to 500. All these people have to live the same globe, same area. Therefore, with the, you, are, you, have to, you have to feed. Agricultural has to be there. And you have to transport. All these things have to be possible if you take care of the globe. Second one is the mobility. I think the vehicle mobility is increasing. When you look at some of the developed countries, San Marino, there will be a population, there is a vehicle density is normally measured. How many vehicles for 1,000 people? Then you can see 1,261 vehicle is there. In the same way, America, approximately 816. Germany, about 400. China is about 240. India is only 44. So that you can imagine when India vehicle density increases, what will be the problem? Third one is uh, diminishing resources. That is one point we are all talking about it. The resources are getting replenished. There are two types of resources. One is uh, renewable resources. Other is uh, non-renewable resources. Renewable resources you can replenish, replenish, like uh, trees and other things, we can replenish. But uh, non-renewable resources is very difficult to re replenish, like uh, fossil fuels. It will take more than 300 to, 300 to 400 years to form those, so that this is another issue. Then the climatic change. Everybody knows the climate is changing. 
the temperature is increasing. Then healthy living. Uh, regarding the healthy living is concerned, when our life is increasing, I think we should be free from environmental related diseases. There are a lot of diseases which is environment related, so that we have to take care of our environment. Then waste management. It is predicted that in the world waste going to increase from 200 billion, 2 billion to 3 billion by 2050. That sort of a problem is going to be. Then OEMs. All the OEMs are now requesting your tire should have higher percentage of a sustainable material. Sustainable material contains two types of material. One is a biomaterial, other one is a recycled material. I think some of the bigger OEMs demanding 40% sustainable material by 2030. Two, two, then last is environment. These all issues forces us that we should have a sustainable practice. What is the, sustain what is the sustainability component? There are three components, social, economical, and environmental. But you know, you see today, the economy is given most important. Everybody feels, if I give economy, other two things can be taken care of. But tomorrow's thinking is different. That is, the thinking is that if you take care of the environment, automatically, environment and the social situation, automatically, economy will be taken care of. This is the major change. That is why all these policies are coming up. Then what is tire? Tire is a, a flexible and it is a compressed air. Tire is always misunderstood product. It is looked like a black and round. The amount of technology going in, nobody understand. Then air is the one which carries the load. Then you see a cross flight tire, air carries approximately 85% load. 15% only structure. And in the same way, a radial tire, 90% is carried by air, only 10%. And OTR 80. So that is why Atma made a big drive on safety. I think you have to take care of your inflation of the tire. Uh, tire. I think normally in a civil engineering, the structure take care of the total load. In this case, air. Then there are two types of tire. One is a cross plate tire, other one is a radial pipe tire. You can see there are ten parameters. Radial tire, all the seven parameters are superior compared to bias tire. That is the technology we are brought to Indian tire manufacturer brought to India and we have almost completed in the Passenger category, but the truck category, we are on a 50% level. It is progressing well. It gives you very good fuel energy. See, this is the way a tire is built. You can see how the components are applied in a tire. See, the precision of a tire is very critical. I think that's why tire is a costlier product and the manufacturing cost of the tire is very high. Therefore, there are components you can see. In a tire, the rubber content varies from 20, 40 to 47%. All these materials are able to recover polymer, filler, zinc oxide, steel, fabric. All these materials can be recovered. That is maybe possible. Therefore, in a radial truck tire, contains approximately 74 material and 21 components. See, the development methodology, this is what is, has been dealt very much. I think this is what is the way we have to think about. Develop, conserve, extend, and 
recycle, and reuse. And we adapting, there are several models can be, 3R model, 6R model, 7R model. Our company is thinking of going, on, going for a 6R model. This is very well dealt, so that I'm not going to talk about it. Then what is recycling? A product go through a life cycle that begins with the production and end up to disposal. Raw materials are extracted from the nature, made into useful goods, have a functional life, and eventually discarded. A sustainable practice, look at each step in the cycle and seek to avoid the negative environmental consequences. And you can see, for example, if a tree in a forest, six tree, if, a if you are cutting off a few tree, you have to plant an equal number of tree, then it will be completed. And ELT management, these are the very well dealt so that I am not going for too much details, then we can see benefits of ELT. There is an economic benefit, there is a social benefit, there is an environmental benefit. I think this, when, this can create a lot of job opportunity, business opportunity, and it is a very fantastic approach. And extended production, this also talked very much in detail. And you can see, we are talking about what is recycling. There you can see, this is a molecule of natural rubber. When you are vulcanizing, you can see the sulfur is there. This sulfur, this, this is a sulfur element that makes the rubber which cannot be reused. Then what is devulcanization? Devulcanization is the removal of the sulfur from the system. How effectively we can do it? Whether we have to go for a reclamation process, or whether you go for a devulc method, or that is what you have to decide. If you, if you kill this bond, this bond, the rubber is destroyed. Only you have to remove the sulfur in the system. If you adapt that process, then you can use more quantity of recycled material into the tire. I think there are companies who have taken decisions to go for 100% recycled, 100% sustainable material by 2050. There are several companies declared. Therefore, it should be a combination of a biomaterial it will end the recycled material. Therefore, you people have to support tire industry to create high quality recycled material. Therefore, we have to look at what are the methods we can go do that. See, that is, now, nowadays uh, this has been discussed, the cut tire and the crush rubber that you can use for raw material recovery. There are several methods are there that you can have a crumb, you can have reclaim, you can have a uh, carbon black, you can have zinc oxide, all these materials can be there. Then energy recovery, you can use cement, clump, you, you are all familiar with that. Then also can be used for civil application. These are the ways it can be disposed of. Then rubber crumb is a process which is cutting down the rubber 
into the small, small pieces. It can be today, it is available in Indian market, 40 mesh, 30 mesh to 140 mesh. It is available. But uh, it has got a, what is this? It can be done mechanical method, cryogenic method, water jet method. I am sure in India we are basically using only mechanical method. These two other methods, you can think about it. Then the investment needed is comparatively low. The technology involved is not a complex limitation in the higher quantity in rubber compounds due to its poor compatibility with virgin rubber. You can see here, we have taken some photographs. See, the, this is the, when you are incorporating into the rubber, you can see that uh, the surface is not, no irregularity in the surface. Since there is no irregularity in the surface, it is not blending with the virgin rubber. It is like uh, remaining in the, that you cannot see by naked eye. But when you go for a SCM microscope, you can be able to understand how it remains in the rubber compounds. Then we have tried different ways, a 140 mesh crumb. And the first method, again it is not a conducive. The second method, we can find it is more blending with the virgin copper. So that a lot of research work are needed to make it, make it working. Then pyrolysis process, I need not talk about, we are all know uh, very, very much it is a, you can also recover carbon black, you can also recover, uh, recover. But only point is that the recovered carbon black, uh, you can see when you are looking at the carbon particles, you can see a lot of fused material on the surface of the, uh, the then the blendability of that carbon black with the rubber, rubber is inferior. I think that you can see when you are recovered carbon black, when you are incorporated a higher percentage in a compound, you see the conductivity is getting affected, the pine value of the compound is getting affected. So that we have to make that after recovering, you have to improve the Call it recently read, Birla Carbon signed an agreement, has got a loan of a, from the European Union for European community for improving the recovered carbon. Then reclamatory process is a very fairly good process, but again in the reclamatory process I initially told that is the backbone of the rubber is getting badly affected. Therefore, that is why some of the people now moving into the devolk process. This is a, one of the most modern process which is coming up. It can be done mechanical, thermal, thermomechanical, and microbe and ultra. These are the physical method. In the similar manner, there are there are chemical methods, you can do the devolk. But uh, Saikar Das Gupta was talking about the biological method, which is the most uh, advanced method which is going to come up. I think I had an opportunity to interact with the, some of the research organization in abroad, and they are doing, they, are, they, are, they can bioengineer the bacteria and algae by which they can focus on removing the sulfur alone from the rubber. If we can do that, if they are successful in that work, then the virgin rubber comes back, it can be used in large quantity in a rare. So that what I want to say, the recycling process is in a very, very, in a, you cannot say what should be the recycling process tomorrow going to be. It is all in the fluid stage, and a lot of research work is going on in this area. I'm sure 
will come out with a better process by which we will all able to use back 70 to 70 percent of the material in a tire back into a tire back into virgin tire what is my conclusion the i am unable to see it <laughs> the focus of elt management must be the conversion of elt into high value added product by value added recycled material support the circular economy so that the best i told second one the quality of the recycled material recycled material produced by the country through the pyrolysis grinding and the reclamation process calls for upgrade upgradation the process of standardization if needed upgradation have to be considered yeah. efforts going around the world for the upgradation of the crumb and also carbon black degenerated the pyrolysis through chemical and physical modification of the surfaces to enhance the interaction with the virgin rubber. Among the available method, Dewalk method is one of the best method to convert the tire in the high quality raw material. Research efforts are continuing further to upgrade quality of recycled rubber produced through Dewalk method. Explore the possibilities of adapting biotechnic to Dewalk the rubber. Government must consider incentive to support recyclers and end users to accelerate the process of ELT. But one, one thing I want to see, the most important thing, the total cultural change is needed in our approach towards recycling process and ELT management. I think the most important thing for that, you just to see the story of a eagle is a great example. Eagle has got the longest lifespan in his species. It can live up to 70 years. But to reach this age, the eagle must make a hard decision. At the age of 40, the eagle, its long and flexible talents become hard, inflexible. It cannot support to grab the food. It cannot take the food. Its long and sharp beak become bent. At this age, feathers become thick, inflexible, and stuck to its chest and make it difficult to fly. Eagle reach a stage, it cannot grab the food, it cannot pick up the, it cannot fly. At that, at that time, the eagle got only two options, either die or go through the painful process of a change, which lasts for 150 days. We are at this stage in the recycling. We have to think about, we have to adapt the right method. The eagle flies to the mountain, top and sits on it. The eagle knocks its beak against the rock until it plucks it out. After plucking out, the eagle will wait some more time for a new beak to grow. Then it will pluck out the talons. When the ta new talons are back, the eagle starts 
striking it all day jerry feathers after five months the eagle makes the famous flight of rebirth and live for another 30 years many times we must start change process to survive we sometimes need to get rid of old memories habits and other past traditions get rid of past burden and take the advantage of the present we have to commit for a sound elt management and recovery system to support circular economy you cannot change your future but you can change your habits but surely your habit will change your future <laughs> thank you